outdoors, YouTubers. Getting ready to go on the trap line today. I'm super excited. Doing some rat traps, doing some moving around. Might do some pocket sets for me, whatever. Um, decided to take my girl's brand new Ford Focus. Still got 30 day tags on it and uh, didn't put the urine in the bucket. And yeah, I spilled. Uh, I spilled fox urine in her car already. She's gonna kill me. Look at this. Yeah. Well, we're gonna clean this up real quick, and it's another one of these huts. Only got one other trap to pull, and we're out of here. I don't see that trap. Oh. There's another rat, long spring. Look at that double foot catch. All right, let's go get that last couple traps and leave this marsh alone. So we'll get out more next year. All right. Well guys, today's the last day at the marsh. Um, here we are, as I said, we're gonna leave some for Next year, there's a couple huts that are still alive. Um, I've been here for like two or three days, so it's time to move on. I did really well, it was a lot of fun. Um, we're just pulling the last of the traps and moving them to the other location. That's a nice, healthy rat right there. Look at that. All right, so I already set a couple at the pond. Some huge huts, giant cattails. We're gonna go check it out and then we're probably gonna do maybe some bottom edge sets and some pocket sets in the creek move to open water it's starting to freeze up but uh yeah it's gonna be a fun day so far it's been all right ladies and gentlemen right, guys. boys and girls this is the pond so here we go Let's see if we caught anything in the first few sets there was literally three huts like 15 feet apart from each other and uh that is all i had time to set last night so we'll see if we did any good it's pretty pretty tough to get through here um it's like walking through vietnam See the first hut. Haha, uh, nothing. Back here in the pond, quite a walk. So, just checked all three huts. Nothing seemed to be on them. No fresh cuts. So, we're going to give them another night. Uh, there is one I see floating. Right there. We'll take them. So, it's all right. I think we're gonna make some more sets uh, in the open water, do some pocket sets or some bottom edge sets, something like that. These are those uh, one and a half coil spring I got on Amazon, they're working real well. They're like 70 bucks for a dozen. Got them within a day. And uh, they're in the link in the description down below. But yeah, they've been working pretty good. Go ahead and reset this. Let's 
just like that. We don't see nothing on the other side. All right, let's 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 see what else we can get into. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Anyone who's subscribed already, thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like, share. I appreciate it, guys. All right. Bang, Moving checking on. sets. Thought I'd make a few. Uh, just stepped in a muskrat hole. My foot's in it right now. Setting a conibear. We're going to go ahead and drop it down in there. There we go. Now I'm just going to stake it with a stick. All right, moving right along. All right, so we're out here in a creek. I uh, just made a couple pocket sets. Um, basically, you dig it a 45 up in the bank, and um, you can kind of see it. There's a little feeder stream coming in. There's mink prints right there. And then I dug a hole right there. It goes up at a 45. Some fresh fish back there. There's a one and a half coil spring, uh, coil spring out in the front. It's not in the entrance, it's out in the front. So you can kind of see it there sitting in the water. Mink try to investigate every single hole they go to. Um, they just can't resist, whether it's a rock, a log, undercut bank with roots, um, any kind of hole they just investigate. They're bouncing around, they're all over the place, in and out of the creek, so it's a good spot. Um, and there's tracks down here underneath these branches that are overhang and then they're coming into this little feeder stream so right there i got it set up and um i put a little fish oil in there i might catch a raccoon too but i got another one up here now i dig them i dig mine about 16 inches back i mean you don't really have to go that far if you're going up and in um just enough to keep the bait dry up in the top and then i got another one right there so they come along this side bam there's a hole and then i got a trap set underneath these roots and then there's another pocket set on that side all right so see that trail right there coming in we just set a 155 right there so looks like it's probably can but main could be using it so we'll take either one they're both worth about the same so um and then we got another little feeder stream right here pretty cool might set that do a pocket set over here wall set on the edge all right guys all right so check it out here's a wall okay and we're gonna set a bottom edge set here. There's a lot of minnows in here. So, I don't have a brick. I don't have the bottom brackets to place it on the bottom. Um, so I'm using a rock it's tied to. So what you do is find a spot against the wall. You hug it up against. You want to make sure that dog isn't getting hit. So we're going to scoot it up against the wall like that. And boom. Okay. So if you look. I wonder if you guys can see that. So if you see it. All right, so I'm gonna give you an underwater angle of it. Now, if you're using a rock and you don't have, um, you know, brick or brackets to sink it down on the bottom or a stop and go or whatever you call it, 
you're gonna wanna kinda hug it up against the wall. Make sure as long as the dog isn't touching a rock, it'll set off. I'm gonna show you underwater view of the bottom edge set. Now what happens is they come in and they kind of follow the current sometimes, but a lot of times they hug the wall and they go across the bottom. Number one, that's for security. Number two, that's for me, like the hunt, um, hunt the minnows that are coming through and frogs and crayfish. Um, and you know, a lot of times they follow the bottom just because they like the structure to go along again. So that's the bottom edge set. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hopefully, we have a good day tomorrow. Checking. Um, I had a good time today. Thanks again, everybody. See you tomorrow.